G'day guys, I'm Ragnar. Today we're going to be talking about the C4 explosive in Battlefield 4. So C4 is really fun to use. I'm sure you're all familiar with what C4 is. It's basically just a plastic explosive that sticks to things, so you can stick it on vehicles and whatnot. And then you can detonate it whenever you want, and it blows up. Simple as that. Now you get C4 by default with the recon class, but eventually after you level up support enough, you can also unlock it for support. And the reason why we un want to unlock it for support is because we can also equip an ammo box, and that way when we use our C4, we can resupply ourselves with more C4, which is definitely really handy if you want to be a bit more sustainable with your C4 runs. Now let's go in and we're going to talk about how much C4 we're going to need to blow up a tank for example. So if you sneak up to a tank you're gonna need not one, not two, but three C4 which is all you'll have unless you have a special squad perk and that will successfully blow up a tank. And that's when you can chuck out an ammo bag and you can reload C4. However you gotta sit next to the ammo bag for quite a period of time to get the C4 back as you can see the recharge time is several seconds but once you got three more then you can blow up another tank so yeah make sure you put three bombs on the tanks and the LAVs unless they're already significantly damaged then you might be able to get away with two or even one now another great way of blowing things up with C4 is by C4 ramming so C4 ramming is done by jumping in a fast vehicle like a quad bike for example or even a, a jeep like this one and you, you would put three bombs on the car like this and you can even put an ammo bag on the car so while you're driving along your C4 is actually getting resupplied so once you got three bombs and an ammo crate on your car you can start C4 ramming and the way you C4 ram is you drive around until you see a tank and you try and approach the tank so he doesn't see you so otherwise he'll simply shoot you before you get to him but uh, more often than not you're going so fast that even if they do see you they s usually miss you and it's too late for them by the time you get to them so you speed up you jump off the vehicle rolls in and you detonate you're safe and sound and everything around your quad bike is gone <laughs> Now just be aware that if you have a teammate in the vehicle, it's just gonna explode, destroy the vehicle, but not destroy the enemy or harm your teammate, so it won't work very well if a teammate is in the vehicle, so just be aware of that. Alright, so whenever you see a vehicle, the idea is to sneak up and play C4 on the sides or wherever you can, and you want to try and at least get 3 on, and that way you know it's a confirmed kill when you detonate it. Make sure you stay a distance as well. Now in tight corridors like this, throw a few bombs out and enemies will just instantly die as soon as you set the trigger off. And they won't expect it unless they see you drop on the C4. Now when it comes to C4 ramming, um, it, it's one of those things that takes a bit of practice but it isn't too hard to do. Now but when you have a teammate on your vehicle that's when you get unpredictable results so it works best when you don't have a teammate in your vehicle but here I'll just demonstrate what happens. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes everyone just dies, sometimes the timing's really off so as you can see I jump out, hit it, and <laughs> it, it is weird so wouldn't recommend. Now you can see full ram boats as well so if they're close enough to shore you can hop in and out of the vehicle to get the car underneath the boat just like this and then boom blow it up and they definitely don't see that coming either now ideally you just want to bail out let the vehicle roll into the enemy and then you explode and you're safe and sound just like that and it's one of these things that just takes practice um, you'll also get a lot, a lot of stigma if you do it too many times and are really good at it a lot of people will start typing to you and uh, saying that you're being a noob or whatever but Honestly, it is a bit scummy, um, but hey, who cares, as long as the game is all about having fun, right? So if you find it entertaining, then go for it, because after all, video games are purely just for entertainment. Alright, so if your teammate spawns on you, try and sort of encourage him to drop off a bit. Usually they see what you're doing and then they hop off and then you can 
make a successful kill like that. Yeah, sometimes you can see the artillery vehicles and they're always a fun, easy kill for you. Sometimes you'll see people repairing, they're always a great kill as well. <laughs> Especially when you get a road kill. Sometimes they drive away from your vehicle. Go reverse a bit, reverse a bit. Perfect. And then you blow it up. Don't worry about road kills so much. Just go for the tank. They're the biggest threat. You can always just shoot the infantry after you blow the tank up. There's some more artillery. Completely oblivious to what his fate will be. Ah. Uh, Sometimes a tank will be shooting someone else, and you just simply run up behind, get to a safe distance, and blow them up. Sometimes a tank will try to run you over, and you <laughs> have an opportunity to put some sneaky C4 on and blow him up before he gets away. Sometimes you see a squad of people repairing a tank. Perfect. Lots of kills for you. Nothing wrong with getting a few sneaky road kills. Sometimes you'll see an enemy C4 rammer as well. If you do, chase him. That's pretty fun. Yeah, sometimes you won't exactly stop him until he jumps off his, his vehicle, but you can still blow him up if, he's, if he lives. So he is blowing up my teammate, but then I blow him up. And myself. But it was worth it. Alright, you can also blow your teammates up. So if your teammate's on, friendly fire is off, this is what happens. <laughs> they don't actually blow up. Unless you're on the vehicle with them. Sometimes it's fun to blow up infantry as well, just for the hell of it. Every now and then, you'll miss the tank. But if you've put an ammo bag on your car, you'll have some more C4 by that point, And you can blow them up anyway. Sometimes you'll see an enemy tank on your map, throw some C4 out and hide, when the tank drives forward, you blow him up. Ah, C4 is very fun. Sometimes you can hop out of your own tank, put C4 on it, and blow it up when the enemy hops in. Yep, sometimes the enemy's aim is so far off that you can still just run around, jump around, get some C4 and blow him up anyway. Don't be afraid to blow yourself up too if it's if you know they see you and you know you're gonna die, just blow it up. It's better to blow up and die than then you just die without blowing anything up. Sometimes it's fun to let the enemy see you a little bit before you blow it up. <laughs> just to tease them a little. Most fun ones is when you get a bit of air, you jump off, and boom! Great for taking out the enemy AA. Sometimes you're on a rooftop, you see tanks below. You blow them up just by chucking some C4 on top. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope you will uh, found some new creative ways to blow people up with C4 and blow things up with C4. If you like this video, please give it a like. Leave a comment if you think this is fun, scummy, great, excellent, terrible. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I'll uh, see you in the next video.